When the infamous tape was leaked of uh, the Access Hollywood conversation between now President Trump and your former co-host Billy Bush, there were lewd comments made, but there was also uh, comments made about Nancy, a uh, Nancy, and later it was revealed that they were they were talking about you. What was it like having that media spotlight on you and just the emotions of going through that? And how have you gone through, gotten through that to, to be where you are today? Yeah, um, you know, it was, that was a very strange period in my life, I have to say, because um, all of a sudden I was thrown into this, you know, uh, part of the presidential race, you know, not, not expecting, and I'm so used to reporting and people, I'm not used to being a part of the story. Um, so it was a very bizarre, period of time for me. Um, but what I said then still holds true today that I don't think there's any room for objectification of women or anyone for that matter, anywhere. And um, again, this program shows exactly what I said back then too, is that um, I hope that our young kids, especially I have a 12 year old daughter, I hope that as a mom, that young girls know that they can be valued for their hard work and their achievements and their intelligence and their heart. And they know that that's what they will be, that that's what will be noticed about them, that that's what they will be, you know, known for. And um, that's what everybody should feel like they're known for and not for something else, you know. And that's the most important thing for us to, to learn from that. I, I know that so many people, so many of our viewers reached out to me at that particular time. And, you know, I just know that it renewed my faith and that we all want a better society. You know, we all want a more inclusive society. And I think that that is what you see when this whole, the, the Me Too movement and the allegations against Harvey Weinstein uh, came out after all that happened. Um, but I think that's what you see from this whole Me Too movement is that you see that we all want this, you know, more, uh, this better society because you saw this, everybody joining together in numbers to make this change. And that's what's happening in, with this Me Too movement is that there is change happening.